KTV yeah. episode 12, Top Gun, Forever Young. It's our end of the year. Yeah, day after episodes. Christmas. It is one, one day. Yeah. One. Yeah, singular, not, like not even twenty four hours removed, really, from it. Yeah, uh, and uh, we we planned a big end of the year awards episode. Yeah, we we're gonna you know discuss, recap our years, yeah, our we, year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, talk about you know I was gonna barriers you know call it the fuck kyler cole oh yeah so you did talk to we were supposed to have that segment yes. yeah we were gonna talk about my injury but yeah his he yeah fucked his shit up yeah the on a saints row move believe it or not and allegedly um, and allegedly. uh yeah apparently it's allegedly. <laughs> allegedly uh uh but killing the business started the year with an injury of a leg or foot knee what ankle ankle because <laughs> some dumbasses think it's my leg <laughs> and we're ending the year on a wrist yep wrist uh but uh so, we we had stuff planned is what yeah, i'm trying to we say we had we had a whole thing we were supposed to film today yeah we, we were already scheduled to film yeah today, but something else happened as i'm yeah, sure all y'all so, already know. all right let's get into this shit dr pepper yeah did you give me one? Oh yeah it's in the fridge <laughs> sorry well, hey. it's alright. Let's just talk about what everyone wants us to talk about, which is... Uh, fuck it. Mark, what the fuck? Um, Mark. God damn it. No. What? Christmas. What? Oh. I got you a Christmas gift. Oh. For real. Oh, for real? <laughs> oh, shit. God yeah. damn it. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Here's your Christmas gift. Oh fuck! Oh shit! It's a Dr. Pepper shirt. <laughs> I was actually gonna buy one of these and wear it when I wrestle. I have a whole red set of gear, and I was gonna get a shirt like this. Now you don't gotta get yeah, one. Now I don't gotta fucking buy one. This is great. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. <laughs> fuck! I feel bad. <laughs> God damn it! I wasn't prepared. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just glad you like your gift. Thank you. But but <laughs> not a dad's. I'll do it. Now that the good shit is over with. What is Mark it? Mark Vengeance, I think. Mark with Vengeance. Two Mark Vengeance. Yes. So I was, you know, on the phone with my good friend James Fury. Yeah, I was at Disc Replay, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a couple hours ago, I was on the phone with James Fury, and I got a message from Paul B. Crumb, uh, the sound guy, who said, "Bro, you need you need to be reading this." And I I didn't know what it was. Like I honestly, I saw the message pop up, and I just like, what is he talking about? And then he sent a screenshot, so I clicked on it, and it was like. You need to read this person. So like, I went to the person's page and I like I hit accept to the friend request because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I know only like thirty people accepted it, and he's just been spilling a shit ton of rumors. I'm gonna say all of it is rumors because we don't know if it's true. Uh, some of it. Well, we know a lot of it isn't true. Yeah, we know a lot of it isn't true, but there's so, some that might be true. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, I was at... I sent it to the screen. Yeah, to so how I found out about it was, you know... Oh, uh -oh. shit, I kicked the camera. Is it okay? It. Uh, yeah, I think we're a little bit off kilter now. Hold on, I'll try moving yeah, back. Yeah, moving back. I think, I think we're good. But, okay, so... Is it focused? Yeah, it looks focused. All right, cool. Okay, so I'm over... Can you imagine if we did this whole thing unfocused and had oh, a rear... Oh, God, I would feel <laughs> keep so going, shitty. Keep going, But fucking... So I went to GameStop... GameStop fell off, by the way. Fuck GameStop. So I called LJ. He told me to go to Disc Replay, so I went. They had all the shit that I was looking for. So I'm going home, happy as fuck. LJ on the phone. Like, we talked for a good, you know, 20, 30 minutes all the way home. And, you know, I get home and park the car, open my phone, and I see Zoe, and it says, you gotta see this bullshit. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what now? And I'm like, what could we have possibly done in the span of however long to piss people off? Exactly. But as it turns out, so the first thing I saw was fucking him saying, killing the business is doing exactly that. Oh, well, that the first thing that's you the, saw? That's the first thing I saw. So I was like, okay, like, this is incredibly light. Like, this is whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't initially... I wasn't going to say shit at all because I'm like, okay, what? this isn't above the fucking normal shit we get. I don't give a fuck. And my and dumb then, ass didn't even understand what that meant. Killing the business is doing just that. I was looking like, oh, that is previous post. Like, what are we doing just of? Like, 
Yeah. I was like so confused. Yeah. Did I really? I mean, I kick out of pile drivers in one, so like that's fair. It's a fair critique, honestly. I wasn't mad at it. And we're talking about behind the scenes stuff, so yeah. But I then I looked, and Adam Wick sent me something. Uh oh, I didn't know. And I opened it, and it says. By the way, does anyone want to know about Heather Blue and Alex Weir? I sent you that too. Yeah, but I didn't see that one from you. <laughs> That's not the one I saw. I just saw the first one. And, from Adam? Yeah, and I saw that one from Adam. And I was like, okay. Like, okay. So now we're funny. Mm -hmm. So now, like, now we got jokes. And it's, it's crazy because whoever this is wouldn't dare say this shit to my face. Or yours. So, like... That's crazy. And by the way, this person, like, has made it known that this is not his normal account. So this person, like, when I, I just talk... Created it. I just want to say something real quick. When I talk shit, right, and I'll, I'll look straight at the fucking camera when I say this. When I talk shit, it's straight at the fucking camera. You can see me saying this shit. So what am I going to do? Deny it? No, I'm going to own up to it 100%. I'm going to say, yeah, I said that shit. But nah, someone's bitch made enough to fucking go and create an alternate account to fucking talk shit. And it's like shit that's like not even true. Yeah. Like fucking fun fact, by the way, fun fact. So he said that, oh yeah, Top Gun fucked MM3's wife. Fun fact, by the way, me and MM3's wife, not friends on Facebook. Shouts out to her. Shouts out. She's really nice. But not, not friends on Facebook. I didn't even know. Her name was Loretta until today. <laughs> until today. She sent me a DM and said, I hope it was good for you because I don't remember. Ah! I'm, like, fucking, I'm, I'm like fucking. Holy shit. Like, dude, I'm like. I hope fucking, it was good for you because I don't remember like, it. No. At that point, so like. For the five minutes that I was mad about the Heather thing, mm -hmm. I was immediately like, okay, yeah, now this is just bullshit. So fucking. Like, now I can just laugh at it. And fucking, this dude is so unserious. Like, fucking, it's crazy. How much, like, there's no way he has a job. Because, I, like, I don't have time for this shit. You think I would waste my fucking off day fucking doing that? No. no. So he can't have a job. He can't get any bitches. Because, like, again, <laughs> that would require time. And clearly, he's using all of that on this. Yeah. So, like, again, like, it, it's it's baffling to me. Yeah. Because it's like, you have people in Michigan that feel so fucking entitled to say their opinion when they're not good. Like, fucking, and you know, I'll even put us in that category. I'm not going to say that I'm any good, but, like, I'm not out here just saying wild shit like that. Yeah. Like, I'm not out here accusing people of shit. I'm just out here giving my wrestling opinions. Which, you know, fuck me for doing that, I guess. God forbid I do that. Like, fucking... There's a, there's a couple things I've learned over the past few months. People are really mad that I'm still wrestling and really mad that I'm dating Heather Blue for some reason. <laughs> like, people are pissed about that. And I don't understand why. It doesn't affect you, dog. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's weird. Because I feel like people think that me and Heather don't talk as often as we do. Because, you know, you want to know what happened when I saw that? I called her and I said, hey, so, like, this dude posted this. What do we think? And then she fucking said her piece. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that sounds cool. Like, fucking, she gave me specific answers to, like, all the questions I had and answered them straight up. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, because I'm not, like, a psychopath, believe it or not. I can talk to people and talk things out, believe it or not. Like, I don't know why people feel the need to test me. Like, and I feel like... Well, like, well, it wasn't... You caught it astray. Wasn't, it, it wasn't just it me. It wasn't just you. So they but talked like, about... So he talked... This person talked about and targeted a lot of people. And we talked about it in our Killing the Business group chat. But it's like, again... <laughs> This person would never say any of this to anybody's faces, and that's oh, fucking proven. I, I think that, too. We have some uh, some news later on where we might know a specific detail that will help us Ooh. narrow down the suspects of who Ooh. this person is. Ooh. 
little little later on. But oh, they later. Yeah, a little, oh. a little later. But KTB in the group chat, we you know we were talking about it and stuff. Yeah. By the way, you you kept talking to this person, making posts and stuff. Because I was quiet. Look, dog, it was funny. Yeah, to okay. Me. I was I was quiet, and I said in the group chat that I was too insecure to like to to acknowledge this person because I did not want them to say anything about me. I did not want. Look, I am very. I am an uh, an anxious and de- a person that deals with a lot of depression. I did not want. Anything to do with this person. I don't know what they would have oh. said. And then, you know, shouts out to my good friend, my best friend, Dean Hendricks. Because in that group chat, when I said that I was too afraid for to the, for them to mention me, he said, if they mention you, I'm commenting back. And then... <laughs> he said something. <laughs> he said something and it included Dean. What did it say? It said, uh, forever young, young didn't break his wrist. He didn't break his wrists. Uh, Wrestling. Yeah, he did it like uh, giving Dean Hendricks a hand job or something Which like that. Which we all saw when you broke your wrist. You could put the clip in right Yeah, now. yeah, put the clip in. Yeah, I you took could a, even zoom in on it, too. I took a Saints Row uh, move from the Saint Brothers, and I landed wrong on the wrist. I broke it. Yeah. You can watch it in the vlog. Yeah. Cheap plug. My poor Shug. Look at this. Swollen. But anyway, yeah. Shouts out to Dean Hendricks for immediately commenting back at that. But I was just like, what did I do? I don't know this person. I don't know who you are. I did not want to be involved. Even though they did say the thing about KTB earlier. So technically I already was. But I didn't want them to say my specific name. I don't know, man. Like, I, at this point, I'm like... We should just read some. You know what? More like stuff. For, oh, and by the way, it is currently 8.54. Oh, uh, yes. We In did this. six minutes. He's going to go live. It's supposed apparently. to be like some news. So we came on a little bit. Oh, by the way, this is actually the first one I see. Mm-hmm. He said, I'll be at the next FU show. I may hate Goldman, but if he's paying me, I'll be there. He I'm a draw too, see? He called Goldman like a rapist too. He yeah. Called like, Which is like, first off, I'll, I'll just Called say, a lot of people I'll drug just say, addicts. Formal, formal inv- invitation, right? By the way, I'll look right at the fucking camera again. Formal invitation. Please say that shit in front of me, Zoe, Dean, it's Keegan, not- and Adam. Please. Please, for the love of God. I would fucking love if you did. Well, they said... Prove me they, wrong, he please. He said it's almost nine. Hmm, MM3. What does that mean? I, I guess he's going to say some oh, shit. Oh, he's got something to do with MM3. He said MM3 had, like... Well, he said a lot of people had hepatitis. There's a hepatitis break, broke breakout inside of Michigan. Something like that. Uh, he said Horror Slam is funded on drugs. He said like a lot Chuck of people- Stein responded with Horror Slam doesn't have any funding. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what did he say? He said Horror Horror Slam doesn't have any funding. Oh God! Jesus. And then that dude responded with, "Yeah, because you stole it." And then Chuck responded with, "Yeah, twice." <laughs> he said Chuck and Brutus were thieves. Br- Chuck and Brutus steal stuff from uh, bags in the locker. They ain't never taken nothing from me. He said Peter B is his. Uh, he he wants to be like him or something like that. Uh, he's. <laughs> He said everyone in Killing the Business sucks except Adam Will. Adam F. and Will, which uh, I'm a big Adam Will guy. <laughs> Adam Will is one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah. Adam Wick, garbage <laughs> ass trash, but Adam Will. Yeah, I'm about fucking to go amazing. back to this. Uh, he said that Sheepy, like, what did he say about him? I forgot. Like, forces people to have sex or something. He said Cody Fleming does not belong in this business. He uh, said Billy Ray's on Grinder. He said Jack Price cheats on his wife. He said Big Flex is on roids. Jeremiah does cocaine and takes a lot of dick. Well, I I feel like Jeremiah doesn't hide that he does cocaine. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> does, what? Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Billy Ray is on Grindr. He has a wife and kids. All right, I don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, he has that. a wife and kids, dog. <laughs> Dre Jacobs cheats on his girl. He's, Dre Jacobs he's engaged, is, bro. <laughs> There's no. If Dre Jacobs cheats on his girl, then I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> like. There's no fucking way. Oh my god, there's so much shit on here. It's like, he said Truth Martini, like, uh, he said something about Truth Martini. I have to do with money. I forgot what it was. Uh, 
DBA cheats on Nicole. Everyone cheats, apparently. He Everyone said Corky cheats. is a drunk homophobe, <laughs> and then he proceeded to be a homophobe in the very next post. Yeah, he said the that. The very next and post. Apparently, Corky said he barely drinks. I, I didn't see He's, Corky drink at all at Grizzlies. He said something about uh, Matt Valentino, uh, and Matt Valentino put something in the comments about like him being the nicest guy, and he really is. He don't mess with nobody. He's so nice. That was yeah, so like, mean. <laughs> like, I don't get it, dog. Like, so mean. Hyena Hagen. You're just going after people. Why? Because you, you can't, like... He said Briar Wellington smokes crack and cheats on the fat ass. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he said Darren McCarty has hepatitis. You know, fuck it, I don't believe that one. Uh, There's Top that Gun. One. <laughs> yeah, that's what that one's. He said the mean. Top Gun thing. Yeah, ours got a lot of reacts. Yeah, apparently. which fuck, all, fuck it all, by the way. All these damn posts where yeah. nothing, no one says a thing. Then you see yeah. the fucking thing about Archie. Forever Young. By the way, Greg, comments. Greg ain't shit, by the Clayton, way, because I saw Clayton. it. Yeah, fucking Clayton. Clayton, Clayton. I thought it was Clayton. What is it? Go ahead. What did he say? But he said, yeah, I support this one. Like, what? Yeah, that's what he said. And I'm like, what the fuck? He said RPW and Horror Slam has, a lot of people have herpes and hep C. <laughs> the fucking RPW promoter was in my car. Uh, he, he said that the fine ass guys are really that. Yeah, that's the part I was talking about, being a homophobe right there. Uh-huh. We're not going to say that on this show, by oh, the way. by the way, so when this first started, I, the first one that I saw, so you said the one that you saw was a, which one? The one I saw from you, which was just the kill in the business thing. Okay. And then I Because he thinking, mentioned us. Like, Paul was sending me the ones at first, then he's like, oh, they mentioned you. Oh, they mentioned Mac. So when I first saw this at first, because earlier in the day, there was some bra drama with Leonard Brand. Leonard Brand, we were talking about that actually. Leonard yeah. Brand and Bubba from Metro Pro. So we saw that. The first one that I saw was about Johnny at Bubba. That was the first yeah, one I saw. One so I saw. at first, not a lie, I was like, oh, Leonard Brand made this. But then that was the only one I saw. Then I saw they were talking about so much more stuff. I'm like, oh, well, this yeah. fucking ain't him. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, which a lot of people thought, and some people still do think, that it was Matt Breeding. Very controversial person. One of the most annoying people on Facebook. I'm not friends with him on Facebook, but I do know that he loves you a lot. Yeah. And when I saw the post about you, that's when I said, okay, it's not Matt Breeding, because I know he loves Max. That's, that's what I'm saying. So I'm like... Then the person, like, said some stuff about Matt Breeding, but that could be, you know, deflecting, you know... Oh, is this where we get into the bit? What bit? The, the... Oh, where we guess who it is? Yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to put my glasses on here. That's, because that's blinking. Are we at 18 minutes already? Yeah. Jesus Christ, look at that. We're at the halfway mark of this podcast. Oh, hell yeah. Time and, flies. And it is 9 o'clock, and we are on the segment where we are going to guess who it is. Detective Zoe and Detective Max are on the case. Fresh Mark Vengeance page with two E's. And oh yeah, he also said he had leaks. Oh, 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 here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and kidding? now Wait, that's this... done. I'll see you at FU to address the rest of you dipshits. So nothing. <laughs> okay, let's so watch. It's just nothing. We're gonna watch this live. One. Oh. Yeah, it's just a fucking thing. You've been trolled. Which again. Okay. Okay, so we know he's gonna be. I don't so they think. Said that they I don't think this dude knows how like stupid he's being. So they said they'd be at FU and something. I guess I can take these off right now. But uh, at FU, something that he mentioned out of all those posts was. Something about Jeremiah and pay, which is something very specific that Jeremiah said in the FU meeting, which was last Friday. Yeah. Two Fridays ago now. But um, so our suspicion is that the person was at FU in the meeting. We also got we, we know someone who knows someone who knows someone's friends, uncle, son. 
who told us <laughs> where this person's <laughs> location is. Yeah. And we're about to reveal it. Oh, we are? Yeah. I don't think we can do that. Why? For, the, for legal reasons. What? Hey, I think this is like doxing somebody. Are you for real? Yeah. Because I'm just going to say it. I think I'm being for real. I mean, you can say it, but like for re like legal reasons, I'm not going to be in the camera. What? Yeah. I ain't playing. Well, Cadillac. They do apparently. God damn it. <laughs> so we looked. So this person, friends of a friend of a friend of a friend's brother, son, told us that this person lives in Cadillac. So I didn't ask for that info, by the way. I didn't ask for it either, but it was presented to K KTB. So Lorenzo. Oh, KTB. <laughs> God damn it. Forever. Remind us to never rob rob a bank well, together. You didn't warn like you could have <laughs> warned me. Shit. Anyway, so now we will guess who Well we were put our well, suspects. Actually, let's go back to the you know what Frio recorded all the matches from the last FU show, so you know what, I guess I'm about to go there and see. Mm hmm All the matches that were on that show. All if right. it loads. Alright. But okay. We're almost at time for this show. Anyway. Oh, yeah, we almost are. So, all right, you go first. No, 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 read all the matches. Brother, it's not loading, so you're going to have to just go. Okay, well. Wing it, call in the ring. We're just going to we're gonna name some suspects. Three each. Three each. All right, I'll go first. My first suspect of who this person could be is the fan, Sean Sisk. And this is why. Hi, Sean. I know you're a big fan of the podcast. But yesterday, he made a status that said, I'll wait till tomorrow because it's Christmas. Stir that. So, that's very suspicious. Yeah. That's very suspicious. Brother. That's fair. I can... And I didn't see him comment on a lot of these uh, posts. You know and, that? and he does post a lot about drama. So Yeah, that's true. Top Gun. Uh, one guy that I could throw out there, I could see it being Stitches. Stitches. Because funny enough, he also he posted. Also, a big fan of the podcast. He also posted about he had shit that would like make people cry or some shit. He did. And he that if he, he has to be quiet, and like he's tired of being quiet, so that was like a day before day of, you know, type of thing. No, sure. So. My next suspect is Mr. M Probably the number one suspect right now. Mr. Matt Breeding because center of drama always, even though the person did post some shit about Matt Breeding, they posted some shit about Stitches. And he said too. really Matt Breeding wasn't that bad if we're being honest. Right, he so said that he at did first. defend him. And it was kind of like, you know, like people deflect, you know? Yeah. So Matt Breeding definitely loves drama. But uh, some of the stuff, like, like some of the stuff, like I try to like. Do you oh, think spelling and grammar takes? Oh God, I forgot about that. I was getting so mad. I was gonna say so mad reading some. Yeah, of learn stuff. how to fucking spell. Oh God my damn, God, it dude. was so fuck. bad. I was literally getting upset because I was dude, trying to read it and oh I'm like, what the God. fuck does this say? <laughs> we should have beat your ass alone for, for the that, fucking spelling. For, it was making my head hurt what trying to read fuck? that stuff. Let like, alone oh all the other God. bullshit you were saying. On top of you spelling all that, of it fucking wrong. That was horrible. Oh he spelled my every, God. He spelled my name wrong and your name wrong. Which like it's not fucking hard and at he this He spelled point. the smallest words wrong. There was sometimes where I didn't even know what he was saying. I don't think it's that hard to spell like of or off, <laughs> you know. To, you it's know. so bad. Like they're so dumb. But um, like fucking stupid. Uh, what was I saying? Stupid. Stupid. What was I saying? Stupid. Um, I don't know. Some stupid bullshit about this dude. Uh, fucking. Matt breeding. Oh yeah, in suspects. Center. Matt breeding always in this. And and Matt breeding's interacting a lot. He's interacting a lot with this person, like oh, a yeah. shit ton. A lot. Um, yeah, that would be my second. I'll be so bad if this is like an FU work thing because he said it'll be at FU to address. And they... I don't think this is lasting until February. I don't think I it won't is be surprised either. if this is over tomorrow. Yeah, like hopefully it's over tomorrow because I have fucking work and I'm not trying to like <laughs> deal with this fuck shit All right. tomorrow. So, like, who's your second suspect, brother? Oh, damn. Uh, one promoter that did not catch a stray was Lou Crank. Okay, yeah. I don't know if he can spell words correctly, but like, you know, 
I don't see his pose, so I don't know. Lou Crank. So yeah, like, Lou Crank. I would. It's it's part of my no list because I don't like. How would he know anything? Like, all right, some of that stuff that that per this person said is, is completely false. But some of the stuff, like, how would he know? Like, me and Dean are good friends, right? Like, yeah. Lou Crank don't fucking know me. <laughs> That's fair. Like, I, like some of the stuff, like Lou Crank ain't in a Horace Lamb locker room. Like some of the shit, like. I don't know. Like that. That's how I was like eliminating some people. Like, cause like I know some people like, like there was, I don't know. Let me go on my Facebook friends list and see who's from Cadillac. <laughs> and, well, yes, but <laughs> also just to see who I can like see doing it. All right. So my my last suspect is uh, Nate Matson. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, I think you can do it. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think and, Nate uh, Reasons are? <laughs> <laughs> you no, just have a hunch? When I was on the phone with James, like, he, he actually, like, we were, we were reading this, like, live, like, to each other, and, like, he said that some people might think that it was me or you. At the time, before our stuff came out, obviously. But they thought, you know, it could be us. Well, obviously it's not now. Brother, he was like, I ain't got the time. I have a job and a girlfriend. I ain't got the fucking time for that, dog. Uh, fuck no. I'm not going to do that shit. That, yeah, that's, no, that's, that's too much fuck? fucking work, bro. I can barely manage my account, let alone a fucking burner account. Yeah, we're grown. Yeah, but, like the fuck. <laughs> we have jobs. Thank you. <laughs> but, um... I don't... I don't really... Like, I literally have no fucking idea. I know I just said two people. But, like, I really have not a single clue who this person is but like it is ridiculous it's yeah. pretty ridiculous and like I, like I, I don't know who, who a third person would be honestly um who is from do you know anybody from Cadillac well Mongo I, I doubt Mongo's they even said something about Mongo's promotion on there wow like, and Mongo hated? wasn't at FU well they said something about his new promotion Oh. Uh, chaos, which we were also supposed to talk about on the podcast. All the new yeah. promotions, Zip Wrestling, yeah. hit up Top Gun. Um, uh, what? Huh? Huh? Uh, Forever Young? What? Yeah. <laughs> Take a bunkin? <laughs> Not for Zip. <laughs> uh, uh, brother, I don't think he's. I love you, Preston. By the way, I like you a lot. I yeah, just don't shout out Preston. Some of your partners. Um, but uh, uh, you know, but so. Could be, could be Gio Rocco. Who else is from Cadillac? Um, I don't know. Well, and not necessarily, like, this, this is just a city that came up from this person's, this friend of a friend of a friend of a friend's brother's son. So this doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that's 100% right. This is, this is a person that this got... This was just info presented to yeah, Forever Young. To KTB. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> they don't know who that is. That could be anybody. Holy fuck. <laughs> you you make me say the word fuck so much <laughs> in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and do we have anything else to say about this person? Uh, uh, yeah, I have my last suspect. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't say anyone. Uh, it'll be, uh, blah, blah, blah. Who, who the fuck? Who likes drama a lot? Who likes drama? Who fucking likes drama? Who who loves drama? Who's annoying on Facebook that likes drama? Um, What's Freo been up to? You know, someone messaged me. By the way, a lot of people messaged me asking me who this is. I don't fucking know. Like, who am I? Yeah, am no, I fucking C in... What, would, what is that thing called? C in, CNN? Am I CNN? <laughs> Fuck. Like the news but, network? But someone did message me and say it was Freo. But okay, Freo so. was at a football game today. Or a... A game. Yeah. A game today. And uh, they also said something about Brutus, and I know Frio fucking loves Brutus, and Darren McCarty, and I know Frio loves Darren McCarty, so. But I do agree he likes drama on Facebook, so I'll just say my other suspect is Frio. But he does have a job, though. Yeah. So, and I don't think he's making a burner account, for real. Yeah. Uh, I'll just stick with my third suspect being Nate Matza, but go ahead. Well, damn. Uh, I don't... Fuck, it could be anybody on here. Well. You're going through your friends list. Yeah, I'm just going through my friends list. Seeing who has the potential. So, it's someone who's been in the Horror Slam locker room. Yeah. And it's someone who was prop most likely at FU or talks to someone at FU 
This person also has. All right, well we're over time. Keep. Or, or is someone who has horrible, horrible spelling, or they're doing it on purpose? Are we in focus? Uh, yeah. Okay. We're um, okay. Go ahead. I just. Ugh, this shit is so whack. Someone also told me like in the message like it was Daniel Wolf. Like people were like messaging me so much. <laughs> What if it was somebody random like Daniel Wolf? That'd like he just hilarious. got bored one That'd day. That'd be hilarious. But he said something about me, so like that hurt my feelings. Yeah. If it was Daniel Wolf, I I couldn't kick his ass because he knows karate and I don't. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, ahead. shoot. Oh, you but, just gave away the fucking Cobra Kai gimmick. You don't know karate? Well, ah. I was trained in karate. I was a yellow belt for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Three years with L. J. Lawrence. Well, not not three years. <laughs> okay, it Go was ahead. like a year. Go ahead. Who's the suspect? Fuck, I don't know. It could be any of these fuckers. Respectfully. Respectfully? If they're doing this, what the fuck are we respecting them for? Well, you know what? That's actually fair. Fuck you, if it was you. But I don't know. I'll go with... Uh... How does Justin Tilly sound? Yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't live in Cal, like, but... I mean, yeah, but... He, and he, do, he, would, he would know some shit. I don't think it's him, but, you know, that's a suspect. Um, it's, oh! It's not super. My third suspect there. is actually Justin Time. Justin Time. That's someone who loves drama. Shit really? Like that. Justin Time, yeah. Well, he was arguing with Justin Time in the comments. <laughs> deflect, brother, deflect! Well, Justin Time made a whole live video saying, Oh, yeah, I did, we didn't watch this, that. We, you you want to do a live reaction? No, <laughs> fuck no. I, I, I'm not friends with... Uh, Justin Time on Facebook. I'm not friends with Matt Breeding on Facebook, and a lot of other people who annoy, uh, annoy me on Facebook are muted. So I, That's fair. I'm fine with out listening to that. That's fair. Um, I'll watch it later. Are, are we done? Notes. Is that it? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's all the fucking drama for t today. I think well, I can fucking <sighs> check to see if there's anything more. That oh this yeah, did he post posted. any more? Because put my reading glasses back on. Eventually, I'm gonna get tired and fucking. When's the last time anything you did got you 135 views in 8 minutes? Bro, you're bragging about 135 views? That's what you're fucking bragging about? 135 views. Wow, fucking great for you, dog. And that means you're a fucking draw? Wow, that's crazy, what man. Say? It fucking, so look, he said, fun fact, not one of you is an actual draw. When's the last time anything you did got you 135 views in 8 minutes? Bro, fucking... Like, we could get 135 views in that exact same fucking time. Check our shit when we talked about Alex Weir. All right, fucking... I'm sorry, but I am about to read this out loud uh, from an anonymous source that messaged me. I get a lot of messages from oh people boy, thinking, what now? thinking they know who it is. Like I said, somebody messaged me thinking it was Daniel Wolf. Somebody messaged me thinking it was uh, Antonio Frio. Uh, somebody messaged me. Uh, a lot of people messaged me thinking it's Matt Breeding. Mm -hmm. um, but someone just messaged me and said, this post gives it away. I think it's stitches uh and then it's this post that says stitches make whatever the fuck oh, sorry stitches i just did i just couldn't read the thing uh stitches make whatever the fuck deals drugs and has guns and is a convicted felon for murder blah, 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 all that shit they said that it put them over they said that puts you over so they think it's a stitches um but we have our suspects our uh, yeah. we mentioned a lot of names and stuff like that but enough of that shit it's time to put somebody oh, over yeah. <laughs> Over. Enough all that shit. It's the last put them over of the year. Let's yes. put somebody over. By the oh. way, KTV actually, fucking, about to be a year old. Yes, yes, twelve episodes too. Wow, yeah, that's fucking crazy. One for every month. Yes, and you fuckers said we weren't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck it, we but told you so. You want to put someone over first? Uh, or yeah, so... You know last that. person that Top Gun's putting over of the year, 2022. Yeah, so again, one of the rare times that I'm actually prepared for this segment, I want to put over Brian Colding. Oh. Yeah, one of the Cold Brothers. Uh, helps run NWCW. You know, Great promotion. Wow. Great promotion. Drew like 400 fucking people. Like, was crazy. That was the only time I've ever come out on a fucking ramp in a stage. And all that really, shit. That was really, fucking dope. It looked really fun. But... Fucking, he also shouted me out and like Chuck Colding did like a retirement speech and I got shouted out in that. And I, like that meant a lot because like 
having someone that's like been here and done that and fucking been to WWE and shit say that like you're pretty good is I feel like always a huge compliment. So Brian Colding, you don't fucking watch this show, but we're gonna put you over today. Good job, yeah, Brian Colden. Uh, Brian Colden, uh, NWCW. Shouts out to him. One of my favorite places. Uh, yeah. It was actually supposed to be my last match of the year, but yeah, this happened, and I, I wanted to still wrestle there, but promoter wouldn't let me because it happened on Friday. The show was on Saturday, and I was supposed to take place in a ladder match. For the internet championship, which I was going to win. I'm just saying. I mean, it's the internet title. I'm the internet guy. I was going to take home that title. But, whatever. But it's, not, it's my turn to put somebody over. And uh, I am about to put over one of my favorite people. And I'm so happy that I get to put him over last. He is such a big supporter of of mine, of ours. He he literally, I think he watches like every single piece of content that I put out. Every match, every podcast, every um, uh, vlog. Damn. My good friend, Father Marquis. That's my guy right there. And I really want to work Very a program. Based. I really want to pr- work a program with him. He is about to hit his Wrestleversary next month. And I am too. Uh, he graduated like a, a, a year after me. So both our Wrestleversary is inside of January. And uh, I remember in January last year when I took him to Metro Pro Wrestling. He he was still in class. He was about to graduate. And he recorded the show. He recorded it. And then, like, 11 months later, me and him won singles titles at Metro Pro the same night and I got to present him his and we hugged and had our Eddie Guerrero Chris Benoit moment. I've never Very had an nice. issue. I've never had an issue with him and he is one of my favorite people to talk to. He always I talk to him almost every single day. And he's a great wrestler. And in my eyes, I know we didn't do the awards this year or this episode, but in my eyes, rookie of the year goes to Father Marquise. He is a true that's rookie. Who, that's who I would pick. Enough of that shit. Yeah, now it's time shit. for the Jack, Jack Price biggest dick of the week. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh, all right. All right. Well, it's fucking pretty. Well, it was gonna go to. Yeah, it was gonna go to Kyler Coleman. It, it was. It was a hundred percent going to him, and I was gonna have a lot to say. <laughs> but. Not go off. Literally, literally, a couple hours ago, it changed. <laughs> a couple hours ago, it changed. So we're gonna. We're gonna give that award to Mr. Mark Vengeance, Vengeance Mark aka Vengeance. Matt Breeding, andor Stitches McVay, <laughs> andor uh, uh, and other people, other people, andor. Um, Can you imagine making this account and arguing with yourself? If it is one of those people, cause yo, that would or be just crazy. in time, like they're that, arguing with that, themselves again. Jobless behavior, <laughs> like you can't have a job. Imagine doing this shit on your day off and you gotta go to work the next day. Yeah. Bro, I gotta wake up at fucking like I gotta wake up at seven AM, but I'm not a morning person. Fucking I hate mornings. So fucking you think I'm spending my last couple hours chilling out, fucking arguing my with myself on Facebook? Mm-mm. No. Yeah, brother. Uh no, no thank you. Um But yeah. Um, do, do me a favor, someone tomorrow I'll find out who this is because I'm gonna be at work. You know, living my life. And you're you're a dick for not only for making all these posts, and yeah. you might have entertained uh, some people at, at some time, but then you offended me in particular. I hated my post. What me and Dean do behind closed doors is between me and <laughs> Dean. That has, nothing, that has nothing to do with everybody else on Facebook, all right? That is true. It's ridiculous. That is very Jesus true. Jesus Christ. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Dean and Jinx. Shouts out, Dean. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy, for real. Yeah. yeah, and you also ruined our episode because we yeah, had... we you fucker. We didn't even get to talk about, like, Johnny Delicious versus... Uh, uh, Chuck Golding. Cold, like, we had a whole match graphic. A Put Leonard, that here. Leonard Brand versus Bubba. <laughs> Yeah, Leonard Bray like, versus all, Bubba. All this stuff, fuck Forever Young versus Kyler Coleman. Like, yeah. we had so- Matt Breeding and Cancer. <laughs> we didn't even get to talk about that. We didn't that. even talk about it. We didn't even get to talk about like, that. What the fuck? Which, uh, 
Holy Man, fucking shit. You gotta put this part of the trailer. Goddamn. Yeah. We just list off everything that's happened. A whole bunch of shit has happened, but this fucker comes in and swoops. Congratulations, yeah. dog. You got your 15 we, minutes we, we or however have, long this is. We could is. have literally done a 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> of this. KTB special yeah. on each thing. But, exactly. But, you know. Which is an idea for next year. Thank you, fuck you, see you. All right, yeah. KTB, episode 12. We'll see you guys in 2023. Top Gun for every young. Catch you later. I can't believe like they just like see you at FU. What the fuck? Like yeah, see we'll you see at you. FU. We'll, we'll see you. We'll see you. All right. Like, like what the fuck? fuck? Um, FU. I don't. <laughs> yeah, fucking no. <laughs> oh, you, you can leave this shit in too. Yeah. Oh, fuck that guy. Like, oh, what shit. is the see you at the FU? Fuck, though? Yeah.